His name is John Cena! <laughs> Hey everyone, today we're taking a peek inside the lavish world of one of Hollywood's biggest stars, John Cena. This professional wrestler turned actor has built an empire, earning millions from his epic WWE stunts and blockbuster movie roles. With a net worth of $80 million, you know John is living the life. Let's dig in and explore the latest buzz, the backstory, the mind-blowing mansions, and dream car collection of John Cena. Let's start with the moment from the 2024 Oscars that had everyone talking. John Cena hit that stage to present the award for best costume design, rocking a look that stunned the audience into hysterics. John just casually strolled out there looking like he was completely in the buff, hiding his goodies behind the envelope. Of course, it was just a clever bit of Hollywood magic. He was actually rocking a fabulous flesh-toned modesty garment underneath. Let's talk about John Cena. This muscular man originally tried his hand at bodybuilding and even drove limos for a bit in Massachusetts before finding his true calling. Cena's big break came when he landed a developmental contract with WWE back in 1989. He headed down to their training grounds in Ohio, now known as the place that birthed legends like Rock Lesnar, Randy Orton, and Batista. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. After just a couple short years developing his craft, Cena got called up to the main WWE roster in 2002. His first big encounter? Facing off against Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle in one unforgettable debut that had fans instantly hooked. From there, Cena's career just skyrocketed. He became a record-breaking 16-time world champion and basically the face of WWE for over a decade. SmackDown was where he truly made his name, sharing the ring with powerhouses like Eddie Guerrero, Edge, and Chris Benoit at the peak of that show's star power. While Cena did dabble as a heel character for a minute early on, it was his heroic persona at WrestleMania 21 against JBL that marked his official coronation as a fan favorite. The rest, well, that's history. These days, the iconic wrestler has transitioned into a well-earned part-time schedule as he expands his empire into Hollywood films and TV shows. But he has made it crystal clear that wrestling will forever have his hard. Let's now look at how this legend really lives. With an $80 million net worth, you know John Cena's lifestyle is fancy. The bulk of Cena's earnings come from two main sources, his long-standing career with WWE and blossoming acting roles. Despite being part-time these days, he still rakes in a whopping $8.5 million per year from the wrestling corporation, plus $500,000 per guest main event appearance and a cool 5% cut of his massive merch sales. Can you even imagine getting pitched half a mil just to show up and perform? That's the dream right there. Speaking of which, one of John's biggest passions also happens to be one of the most expensive hobbies you can find. He's an avid collector of classic American muscle cars. His garage is a museum of vintage cars. We're talking beauties from the 60s and 70s like Dodge Chargers, Pontiac Judges, Plymouth Superbirds, all of those. Cena has been drawn to these four-wheeled works of art since day one. The very first set of wheels he ever bought himself was a 1984 Cadillac Coupe de Ville straight out of a mobster movie. These days though, you're more likely to catch him cruising around in his beloved 1971 AMC Hornet. He's also invested some serious cash into his acting career, reportedly earning $7 million alone for his first major role in the Suicide Squad. Not too shabby for a former wrestler. The Peacemaker role was such a hit that it even scored Cena his own spin-off series on streaming, where he commanded over $500,000 per episode. And we can't forget about endorsement. John's been securing lucrative sponsorship deals left and right for years with brands like Subway, Gillette, and Honda. Those sponsorships currently net him an estimated $1.5 million annually. When John Cena isn't globe trotting or pulling off crazy stunts, he retreats to his huge ultra luxe mansion in Tampa, Florida, where he can kick back with his partner Shay. After grinding away on the road for most of the year, you'd better believe that he takes full advantage of all all the luxuries his multi-million dollar crib has to offer. Let's take a room by room tour of pure indulgence. Right when you step through the front door, you're greeted by a glamorous grand entry foyer. The perfect introduction to this paradise. 
One of the most unique rooms in the home has got to be John's personal cigar lounge. Yes, the man has an entire special space just for puffing with his boys, which seems like the ultimate quiet man cave. Of course, the mansion also has massive closets just for clothes and shoes. This must be the highlight for his partner. Can you even imagine having that much closet space like the one in the master suite? It's basically a whole extra bedroom just for outfit storage. Moving on to the grounds, outdoor amenities are just as lavish as you'd expect. There's a sprawling pool area that puts all your neighborhood swimming pools to shame, looking more like a five-star resort with its fountain design and grand diving platform. Oh, and did I mention they have a full guest house on the property as well? As I mentioned earlier, John Cena also has a huge obsession with classic American muscle cars from the 60s and 70s. His garage is a museum of vintage automotive excellence. Cena's lineup includes a 1966 Dodge Hemi Charger, a 1969 Copo Chevrolet Camaro, a 1970 Buick GSX, a 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator, and a 2006 Ford GT, just to name a few. Of all of his prized vehicles though, he seems to have a special connection to his 2007 Ford Mustang, Celine Parnelli Jones Limited Edition. This specific Mustang was just one of 500 ever produced, making it very rare. Don't be too shocked though if you see John driving something a little more low key from time to time. When he's just running errands around Tampa, he apparently favors his trusty 1971 AMC Hornet as his daily ride. No discussion about John's cars would be complete without mentioning some of his most iconic wrestling entrances. There was that time at WrestleMania 23 when he drove a Ford Mustang straight from the streets of Detroit, crashing right through the arena glass onto the ramp. Cena has always loved incorporating automobiles into his wrestling persona. Like at WrestleMania 22, when his bodyguards rolled in channeling an old school mob survive in a 1940s style sedan. That WrestleMania 23 car stunt entry though, allegedly one of the most expensive productions WWE had ever put on at that point, totaling around $100,000. After getting an all-access peek at John Cena's life of luxury, cars, homes, and fortunes galore, I have one last question for you all. If you could go car shopping with John's unlimited budget, which three classics would have to be in your garage? Let me know in the comments down below. That's a wrap on our John Cena video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.